hello and welcome. I'm Ethan of the Ear. This is episode 47 of the E-Reader Podcast. And today, this is my Star Wars movie and TV TV show tier list. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So, in spirit of uh, May the 4th, 4th be with you, because today is May the 4th, I am going to do a uh, TV show and movie Star Wars tier list. Uh, If you haven't, go check out my video yesterday that I posted, and it's why I love Star Wars. Uh, Just to get a sense of, like, where I come from, (laughs) from a Star Wars fan. So, yeah, um, there are a couple things here that I haven't watched. It's only, like, two things. Um, So, that's what this, uh, I added this tier. I haven't watched. Sorry. Uh, I haven't watched Rebels, and I haven't watched, uh... Which is Resistance, I think this one's called. But I've watched uh, the rest, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I have. Uh, so I just haven't watched these um, because I-, I haven't really got to them. And uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'll just get started. I want to say something, just start this with my favorite. Because if you don't, if you don't uh, stay all the way through, then I'll just start with my favorite. And I'm looking for my favorite. Uh, where is it? Oh, here. Okay. My favorite is Revenge of the Sith. By, I was going to say an author. Uh, Revenge of the Sith, Sith geez, is the third one in the prequel. I'm sorry. Don't come at me. Um, yes, that is my favorite Star Wars movie. I just... I was explaining this to someone earlier today, and I just found... The cinematography is, is really insane. The fight scenes are insane. I just find that the fight scenes in, like, like uh, number 1, 2, and 3, or sorry, 4, 5, and 6, the originals, are not the best. For example, in the first movie, I think, The New Hope, I think? I, I, know, I, know, I know the name is New Hope, but I just, I, fr- I think it's in New Hope, where um, Obi, Obi-Wan dies. Um, I think, it, yeah, I think it's in the first one, Obi-Wan dies. That fight scene just... I saw a bunch of fan films, and they've done it, like, pretty good. But just how Obi-Wan dies, just, like, just boop, dead. There's not, like, a sick fight scene, and and there not really is some in the originals. And I really love the fight scenes, especially in Revenge of the Sith. And it's not just the fight scenes that make it good. Just the whole thing. Anakin slowly, slowly going to the dark side is just amazing build-up throughout the uh, prequels. Um, Yeah, and you'll see my reading for the first and second uh, episodes. So, uh, I guess we'll just jump over the place. Next, uh, I'll go to Clone Wars. So, actually, I know I, 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 sh- I should have put this in here, but I actually have watched more than half of this, and I'm, that's, that's why I haven't got to these ones yet, because I, I'm currently watching this, and I'm gonna get to those TV shows after. But, um, yeah, I'm currently watching this over probably 75% through, almost done. And I think I'll put this Either, it's either first, because Anakin is my favorite character. Anakin is such a good character. And in this, he slowly goes into the dark side. Because this takes place in between uh, fan- uh, Clone Wars. I think it's the Clone Wars and Phantom Menace. Or, sorry, uh, Clone Wars and Revenge of the Sith. It takes uh, place in between. And am I go- I, it's either Council Member or Grandmaster. Uh... I think I'll put it council member and might change it later. Uh, okay, so, yeah, there's not much explaining there. I just love Obi-Wan and and Anakin are just some of my favorite. They're pro- they're my favorite characters of the whole thing. I love Anakin. He's such a good character. Um, and I thought, yeah, I, um, Padme and just, I love the animation and I love just the storyline of it. It's just a really well done. And Clone Wars is my favorite kind of part of, like, the Clone Wars is um, part of the whole Star Wars um, timeline, I guess. Okay, so next I guess we'll go to the movie. Movie. I guess we don't really have to argue on this. I, it's either Padawan or Youngling. Mm, I'll put it in Padawan. It's, it's just not the best. I mean, I haven't watched it in, I think I watched it like last year or ten months ago or something. It's not the best. It's just, they put three of the Clone Wars episodes together and it's just not the good, it's not that good. It's just, it's not really a movie, it's just... I, I don't really have much to say, it's just not that good. 
personally, I didn't really like it. Um, okay, next, I guess, we'll go to Phantom Menace. People say this is not a good movie. Personally, I think it's it's decent. It's pretty good. People say they don't like uh, the animation or they don't like the young Sky uh, Anakin Skywalker actor or anything like that. I thought he was pretty good, so I think I'm going to put him in Night. Or the movie in Night. It's it's totally not like amazing, amazing, but it's it's a good start to showing Anakin uh, introducing um, Obi Wan. Actually, now that I say it, should I put it down? No, I'll keep it in Night. It's pretty good. I love the um, the the race that is is such a good race. Uh, Darth Maul again. Darth Maul is one of my favorite um, uh, ba- dark <laughs> bad bad characters or um yeah. Okay, I guess we'll go to finish off the show here. Uh, where's... Okay, so the last show is Mandalorian. Mandalorian, absolutely amazing show. I think I'll, I'll put it above... Uh, is it above the Clone Wars? No, I don't think so. This might be uh, um uh, a very controversial opinion, but I think Clone Wars is better than Mandalorian. But Mandalorian is very up, uh, up there. I don't really think have much to say. Um, It's just amazing show... Making the Star Wars universe more diverse, making it more wide, the world building is amazing, and you get to see a different char- You didn't get to see a different uh, race, I guess. I don't know if they're no, they're not racist. Are they racist? Um, like the Mandalorian, the man. Uh, you get to see them and their culture, and just I love, I love that. And then you get to see cameos like Luke Skywalker into the show, which and Ahsoka, and yeah. Uh, so. Uh, and then we'll have the movies. Which ones? I guess we'll finish the prequels. Clone Wars, like I said, I really love the Clone Wars. But I don't think it's a council member. Or is it? No, I think I'll put in Master. Uh, should I? What happens in this one? I'm trying to think of what happens. Because I, I, I just haven't watched these movies for a hot second here. Clone Wars... Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Oh, yeah, introduce, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I remember, I remember. Also, I want to say one more thing about Revenge of the Sith and why I love it so much. Because many people, many, many people have watched it, um, watch, said this about the movie, but it, it it's the only movie that I think I've ever seen that ends, with a, that, that ends with a bad ending that doesn't go well for the good guys. And it tells, like, it says to the audience, like, not everything in life is going to go well. And that's, that's why I love this movie so much. So yeah, I think that's. I think I should put Clone Wars down here, there, and there. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's good. Okay, because I don't think this is a master. I don't think that's this um Clone Wars is good enough. Or is it? I don't know. I don't know. Man, is this? This is not. I'll just put it in Younglings. If movies are down here in uh, Younglings, I'm just saying this is the worst um, Star Wars movie or show. Okay, that doesn't mean it's the worst movie I've ever seen. Just to clear that up. Uh, next, I'll go to Solo. Many people have said this is a terrible movie. I don't think it's that terrible. I think it just it's just because it came after, it came after the Last Jedi. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it came after the Last Jedi. People just didn't like the Last Jedi, and people didn't like this movie. But I thought it was pretty good, so I'm gonna put it in Master. I love, uh, you get to see Han Solo. Han Solo is one of my favorite characters. <laughs> I think he's, <laughs> I love, all the characters are so good. Um, but just, I get, you get to see Han Solo, he, how he got, uh, the Millennium Falcon, and just the story in this is a very good thought. I just love Han Solo, and the actor, the actor for a young Han Solo is, I, I love, he, uh, portrayed Han Solo very well. Next I'll go to Rogue One. Uh, I I like this, but it's not that good, I guess. Um, these are all my opinions, by the way. These are not in any way um, the definites, obviously. But Rogue One, I thought, it's not better than Solo, and is it better than Clone Wars? I don't think so. So I'm thinking I'm going to put it there. It's a knight. Personally, I like Rogue One. It's a it's a good it's a good movie. Um, yeah, it's. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. It's just a good movie. I don't really have much to say. Um, I think we'll end it off with prequels and we'll... Uh, or sorry, we'll end it off with the originals and we do the sequels now. Okay, I guess we'll do Last Jedi. 
am I thinking of all the critics while I put it down here? Or am I actually thinking it's a bad movie? Just, um... Just Finn had so much potential as a good character. Especially in Rise of Skywalker. Many people have said it. And I just... They didn't do it, do that well. And it's just... The ending is not that good. I think I'll put it... I think I'm either going to put it here or here. I think I'll put it there. Or is it there? I mean, it's still a good movie. Rey is a good character. Kylo Ren is a good character. I think I'll have to do that. <laughs> Last Jedi. I think The Phantom Menace is better than The Last Jedi. Don't fight me. I think... I think... <laughs> I don't know. I, I think that's that's what I, that's my opinion. Next, Rise of, uh, Rise of Skywalker. Let's do... Oh, uh, no. Let's do The Force Awakens. Force Awakens, absolutely amazing film. Uh, I'll put that above Solo. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Absolutely amazing. Force Awakens is a very good entry. First entry to the sequels. Then we have Rise of Skywalker. I thought they definitely didn't have to bring uh, Palpatine back. I just thought it was unnecessary. Why did they have to bring back? That means that characters could just be brought back to life. And I hate when people do that, so I think I'll just... But it's still a good movie. I think I'll put it after... I think I'll just put Night. It's a good movie, but I don't think they needed it. Like, needed to bring back Palpatine. I, I, and as well as... Like, it's crazy how in the sequels how you... Like, um the news came out that they had no idea where they were going after they finished the first movie. And then they switch directors, and it's just, the sequels is crazy. Next, we have the originals. Yeah, so, I'll see, none of, none of the originals are going to be my favorite. And, um, another reason, sorry, I have come back to another one. Another reason why I love the Revenge of the Sith so much is that, um, I kind of, those were the first movies I saw, like, as I was growing up, you can go watch why I love Star Wars so much, but, um, uh, obviously my dad showed, uh, these movies to me, and, um, I saw the prequels before the originals because my dad just showed them in episode order. And so I saw the ori- the prequels before the originals and I just fell in love with uh, the prequel characters. So that's another reason why I love uh, Revenge of the S- Sith so much. But next, I'll go to these. Originals, I think, are the is the um, newest movies I've seen. I've seen these actually really recently. So I guess we'll go to... Uh, a New Hope, right here. New Hope, oh, pretty, pretty good movie. I just, it's, I find the, the, people are gonna really, really hate on me for this, but I thought the boring was pretty, the start is pretty boring. Um, but uh, after that, it gets really good, you get to meet Luke Skywalker, but it's definitely, I think it's the worst, people are gonna, <laughs> feel really, I, I don't think this is a really unpopular opinion, but I think it's the worst of the, the ori- three originals, so I think I'm gonna put that, uh, above Force Awakens, right there. Yeah. Um. So yeah, obviously the they're also gonna be up here. These two movies, but uh, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. Uh. We'll do Return of the Jedi. Uh, we'll put it. I really like. Um. The C the. Oh my gosh, I'm blanking here. The. Django Fett, the scene um, at in Tatooine. I'm blanking on the big fat gooey guy. Sorry, I'm I'm a fan. I promise. Um, I just like that scene. They're jumping and Django Fett dies. It's just such a good scene, and I love Return of the Jedi. I like that film. It's such a good film. So I think I'll put it right. Um, hmm. I think I'll put it above Clone Wars. Is it better than Clone Wars? Yeah, I'll put it above Clone Wars. Let me put it yeah there. Yeah, so um I an- another reason why I love this scene so this movie so much cuz I think it this is the last one, right? Sorry, I'm blanking. It goes a New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and then Return of the Jedi. Yoda. I think Yoda's in this one. I think he dies in this one or maybe Empire Strikes Back. Um but, uh, just this, the scene of Vader in this, in this movie, it's just so emotional. I might be getting these mixed up. 
Empire Strikes Back or Return of the Jedi. But just I think it's Return of the Jedi. But um, Palpatine dying, um, l- l- uh, the Darth Vader saving his son, just an emotional scene where Anakin really fights the dark side and he comes back to the good, the light side, the good side, and he he risks his life taking off his helmet because he can't survive without the helmet. It, it protects him. It uh, gives him air. He can't survive, but he. That's the last thing he does. He looks at Luke's face, and that's what he really wants to do. Looks at Luke's looks at Luke's face with his real eyes, because the helmet kind of projects it, and that is just in a very emotional scene. The end with the Ewoks. Love the Ewoks. You always do. Absolutely amazing film. Empire Strikes Back. Actually, I think I'm gonna switch this up. I'm gonna put Return of the Jedi up here. Empire Strikes Back. Uh, actually, which one should I do? I think, wait, what did I put? Which one? A New Hope is where he, yeah, I think I'll keep that one there. Uh, where should I put these ones? Return of the Jedi is amazing. Empire Strikes Back. Kind of forget what happens in this one. The all three one, all three of them are just mixing together. Uh, but I'll put Empire Strikes Back right there. Return of the Jedi right there. And Sith right there. So that's my ranking of all the Star Wars TV shows and movies. That was pretty pretty difficult. I really had to think about the movies and really see which ones I liked the most, which ones I liked the least, and which ones were good. Kind of. Definitely want to get to Rebels and Resistance and finish Clone Wars. Right there. Uh, finish Clone Wars soon, so that's pretty much my Star Wars plan. Uh, next, after... Um, in the next month or two months, I, um, I'm going to s- start reading some of the Star Wars Legends books. Really want to get to some of those. Uh, some that caught my eye, maybe uh, Thrawn Trilogy, or really want to read um, the Palpatine book. Forget when that what, forget what that one's called, but Palpatine and his master. Um, yeah. Uh, maybe Kenobi. Yeah, I just really want to get to the books and learn more information about Star Wars because I love Star Wars so much. So yeah, hope you ha- hope you're having or have um a good May the fourth fourth, and may the fourth be for for force may 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 the force be with you. Uh. This has been my Star Wars TV show and movie tier list. I'm Ethan or the Year. This is season one episode. Um, I I don't know. I forgot. Episode. I have no idea what episode. It's going to be in the description. Check it out what episode it is. Thanks for listening. Bye. Have a good day. Thanks for listening. See you next time.